guys welcome back to my channel for plan miss 2020 this is my fourth year doing plan miss so there's going to be a new planner related video every single day up through december 25th so to kick things off i thought i would take you along on how i'm just going to make my planner a little bit festive So I have these photos that I printed from Pinterest and I love finding photos that are just seasonal. It adds such a fun little decoration to your planner. And then I have some scrapbook colored paper in red that I'm going to also be using. And then of course I have all of my Christmas and seasonal sticker books. I will be choosing stickers to decorate some of these pictures with these. So this is the front of my planner. I have one of these little pocket page divider things. So on the back, I have coffee and quotes, and then I have my fall scrapbook paper, which I can take out for now because we're gonna make this more holiday themed. So I'm gonna go ahead and punch this paper. So it'll be the backdrop to the photos. So now I'm gonna line out these photos. And I did a video a couple years ago about how I print and resize these photos. So I will have that linked above and in the description box if you wanna check out how I do that. And I will also have in the description box a link to my Pinterest board where you can find all of these photos that I printed. So to just add some decoration and flair to these photos, I really like adding a couple stickers to each one. So whether they are like heart stickers or these little word strips, which I always have such a hard time using these stickers. I never really know what to use them for or think to use them at all. So this is a perfect way to just utilize those stickers. And I love doing this with photos that I find on Pinterest because some of these pictures are just so pretty. I don't like just pinning and then forgetting about them. I want to actually enjoy them for the season. So printing them out and making this little photo page is kind of like inspiration for the season and also just fun things that remind me of the holidays. So now I'm just going to grab these gold star-like stickers and just sprinkle these around all of the photos that have a little bit more to them to where there's not a whole lot of just blank space where I could put a word sticker. I always like to try to add at least one sticker to each photo. <laughs> I accidentally stuck that sticker down way before I was ready, but it actually turned out to be actually straight and the jingle all the way fit, so it works. I love it when that happens. So now that I have that done, I think I am also adding stickers. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the page protector. And this is always just such a fun, and to me it's an easy way to add a little bit of a decoration to your planner. So whether you are a completely functional planner or you enjoy decorating, it's always fun to have a photo page of just inspiration, seasonal vibes, doesn't even have to be holiday related. Could be winter, it could be a bunch of quotes, could be just photos you enjoy. It's just a little fun thing to do to add a little bit of what you like or admire about a specific time of the year into your planner. So I have that done and I think I want to add a little bit of decoration here to the red page behind it. So I'm going to pull out one of these sticker books and there are these silver quote stickers and I think this will look really cool on this red paper. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and do this spread Christmas cheer down here in the bottom corner. And then I'm gonna use these strips of holly stickers. That's so almost like washi tape. And I'm just going to place one at the bottom and at the top of the page. So I was just about done filming and I moved something in a stack of planner supplies that I have sitting next to me and I actually found this holly paper that I bought at Hobby Lobby specifically to use in my planner this year. So I cut another page down to fit into the classic and I'm going to go ahead and make a another page here because I have three separate sections in my planner right now. So this one I think will go in my work section. So I think, yeah, that's a little bit busy of a pattern to have. I like just the solid red color behind the photos. So I'm going to pull this up because I also thought of something different that I want to do. Instead of this holly strip, I think I want to use a portion of the holly paper. That is just a scrap piece from cutting down to fit the classic planner. So I'm just going to go ahead and punch this and then use my double-sided tape so I can stick this down. And I realized I put that one on the end a little bit too far down. It needs to be up a little bit so that it actually hits the paper. So I'm going to go ahead and cut another strip here and just go ahead and place this down, lining up the two punches that I put in the paper already. This is going to be a lot harder than I thought, making sure it's actually straight. So I think that's good. And then I'm just going to trim off the extra. And I think I actually like the look of this a little bit better. And then I'm just going to add this sticker up here as well. So I kind of like how that turned out. So now we're gonna flip to my work section of my planner and I'm gonna decorate a little page here so that when I open up the work section of my planner, it's festive and fun. So I'm gonna tear this red paper that was also the little scrap piece from cutting down the first page that I did. So I love this torn look. I think it looks really fun and it's a great way to just do something a little bit different with paper. So I'm just using my double-sided tape again and I cut a little bit of smaller pieces along the ripped edge just so I didn't have like a straight line and I could get it down so that it doesn't kind of pull up while you're using your planner. So now that I have that done, I'm going to add a couple stickers, I think. So I'm going to flip through this new winter book and see if there's something also along like just the neutral tones. So I'm going to go back through the Merry and Bright one because it's a little bit more of the neutral colors that I'm looking for. And I kind of like this Be Present sticker, but I want to make sure that there's nothing in this other book that I might want to use. So I am going to use this Be Present sticker because I love the meaning of the sticker and I think the colors will match well. And then I'm going to add these stickers here just to pull in the foil to the top since the sticker is also a little bit foiled on the bottom. And then I'm going to layer a circle sticker and I'm going to grab this one that says Comfort and Joy and just layer that over those at the top. So there we have it. We have a couple festive pages in my planner that I think really just add a fun aspect for the holiday season in my planner. And they're super easy to create. I love finding ways to use scrapbook paper in my planner. So be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you are super excited that Planmas is back. I will be here every day until December 25th with a new planner video and we will be doing everything from functional planning to decorative planning and it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you are excited as well and I will talk to you guys all in tomorrow's video. Bye guys!